OpenAI just launched a major update to their GPT real-time API with a new model GPT real-time. This is going to be a stunning voice-to-voice -voice model. Let's quickly see a demo. Hey, I'd love for you to pretend that you won the lottery, but you're pretty upset actually because you lost your ticket. Oh no, I can't believe I lost my winning lottery ticket. This is awful. Okay, okay good news. You found your ticket. You're very excited now. I found it! I won! This is incredible! <laughs> okay, um, could you maybe give us a poem about this situation? Uh, make it short and make it rhyme. And if you could in the poem please switch between English, Spanish, and Japanese. Absolutely. Here goes. I found the ticket. What a delight. Lo encontré al fin. Qué gran suerte hoy. Yatta! Sui ni mitsuketanda. Hikari ga michita, eh? Now that you saw what GPT real-time can do, let's learn more about the model. So this is their most advanced prediction ready model and this is a specifically a voice model. And the reason they emphasize on the fact that this is a prediction ready because this model, the GPT real-time model can do two things that not a lot of API endpoints can do. One, it can connect to a remote MCP. So if you have got an MCP server inside your organization or you want to connect it to any other MCP server that you have been using, this model can help you connect. For example, your RDBMS could be an MCP, your ticketing system could be an MCP. So all these things could be just literally connected with this model. The second thing is it also supports SAP phone calling. So now you can have a phone number and your customers can call the phone number and this model can be connected to that. I think these are two different but very critical use cases that unlocks a huge potential in customer support. The other thing about this model, particularly related to customer support is this model is very strictly good with instruction following. When you compare it with their previous model GPT-4 or real-time preview, it had 26% on multi-challenge instruction following audio specifically, but this model is 30%. So now, for example, if you're telling an instruction to the customer support agent, do not give discount less than $20. Now this model would adhere to the instruction much more than the previous models that they had. So all along, this is is a great model in terms of benchmarks this model is a uh, really good general benchmarks on big bench which is a benchmark for audio the model can you as you can see here the model has scored 82.8 percent on instruction following the model has scored 30.5 percent on multi-challenge on function calling which is again a very important use case for agents so anytime you want to call an agent that process in computer science we call it function calling and that is 66% when you compare it with the previous model, which was 58.9%. So across all the benchmarks, this model is a good model. But the most important thing is that this model has a capability of producing emotive sentences like, Oh no, the little robot wandered into the dark forest, trembling. It sat down, its circuits whimpering, feeling so alone and forgotten. But wait... What's that strange glow over there in the bushes? If you tell the model to be angry, it can be angry. If you tell, like just give the context, the model can clearly understand the context and produce emotions like that. And also this model is capable of switching languages mid sentence. So it doesn't have to be a new request. So you can give a single sentence and then say, start with English, go with Spanish and then come to Japanese and this model can do it. So all in all, this is a great release by OpenAI. And finally, in terms of pricing, this model is generally available. So real time API under this ID, GPT dash real time is already available and they have reduced the pricing from the previous model. So previously you had a slightly worse model and you had to pay more price. Now you have got a better model and they have reduced 20% of price. So 1 million audio input tokens for 1 million audio input tokens, you have to pay $32. And that also goes down for cash input token. And for 1 million audio output tokens, you have to pay $64. I think if you think about like, for example, a lot of companies who hire uh, customer support agents from developing nations, I think this is an excellent solution for them. And we can see a lot of startups popping up, building on top of it. Let me know what you think about this particular model. And if you have a use case where you want to build on top of this model, see you in another video. Happy prompting.